Hi guys, I hope you do well. Today I want to talk to you about the hideout I built out of popsicle sticks for the fourth part of the Ginger Dead Man. <laughs> Little disclaimer up front. Due to time constraints in December 2021, I never finished the hideout and just made it as far as I needed it for the shoot. I will however finish the hideout properly sometime this year, cause I need it for the Ginger Dead Man part 5. So this is the first part on how I built this hideout. Techniques I will show you can help you build your own hideout, even if mine isn't finished yet. So for the hideout you need popsicle sticks. A lot of popsicle sticks. I hadn't had enough of them, hence the unfinished build. Pieces of cupboard, glue, a knife, and pincers. First I took the popsicle sticks and my pincers to cut off the round edges at each end. For our build we need planks with angular endings. I did this for all the popsicle sticks I needed. Get ready, this takes a while. Don't throw away the round edges though, they will come in handy later. After I was done cutting down the edges I took one piece of cupboard. I used a 30 to 20 cm piece of cupboard but you can do this with any size you need it to be. This is gonna be our floor. I measured how many planks I would need to fill one row. Two and a half popsicle sticks. So I started to cut some of the sticks in half. Maybe you don't need to do this, uh, it really depends on the size of your cupboard. After that was done, I covered the cupboard in glue and started gluing the sticks onto it. I switched the sides the half pieces are on every row so it would look more like planks than are laid on the ground. After you covered everything with wood, put it away and take another piece of cardboard. This will be a wall without any windows or openings, so just put glue on it and cover it with wood. The next wall I made has three windows, two on the ground and one high above. I used a knife to cut holes onto the cupboard. I measured it again and cut my popsicle sticks in the lengths they needed to be to fill in the space between the windows. If you're wondering why you don't see me measure anything in this, I wasn't stressed to get the Christmas short done and I did all measurings just with my eyes and uh, gut feeling. After I cut all the pieces into the right length, I again covered the cardboard with glue and covered it with wood. As you can see I used some of the round edges I cut earlier to fill in some spaces of the wall. I did this because I wanted to give the look of an old house where a lot of people repaired things over the years with whatever they had lying around. I did the same with the walls. You don't need to do that. If you want a new built house, just weather everything and cut the sticks as you need them. For the wall with the door, I used the same technique as for the windows. First, I cut a door into my cardboard. Then, I measured the space between door and at the end of the wall to cut my planks and glue them on the cardboard. For the door, I used a tinier version of the popsicle sticks. I laid them side by side until I had the right size of the door. Then I glued two sticks on the upper and lower part of the laying sticks. I did that on both sides. Then I used some twisted wire I just glued on the door. I stuck the wire in the cardboard and had a movable door. I had a floor and three walls when I realized I was running out of popsicle sticks and I knew I would not have the time to restock my supplies until the video was due. So normally I would cover both sides of the walls with wood so you can use both sides. And then theoretically have a shot of a figure walking from the inside to the outside without the need to turn any walls around. But in this case I could not make this. For now. I will do it eventually and you will know about it in the second part of this video. Now we have three walls but they are not able to stand on its own. For that I just used another round of popsicle sticks and glued them on the bottom of the walls. After the glue's dry, you can put anything with little weight, the supporting sticks and the wall stand like walls are supposed to. Originally my plan was to stick the popsicle sticks under the floor, but this technique just works if both sides of the walls are covered in wood. You will see that in the next part, I promise. The last part I did for now is weathering. I just took brown acrylic paint, mixed it with some water to thin it and just painted everything with that. This brings some texture to the popsicle sticks and gives them the feeling of real wooden planks. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up if you did, be sure to let me know in the comments what we should build next. There will be a part 2 where we finish the build, until then take care and have a good one.